Jess T. Jess T. Right here, right now, on CountryRadio.uk. Good afternoon. This is Jess T on CountryRadio.uk, and this afternoon I have the lovely Laura Oakes with me. How are you, Laura? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. And I'm going to ask the obvious question first of all: How's lockdown been for you? Yeah, you know, I'm getting used to it. Um, it's it's been crazy. Uh, I think the main thing is just not not being on stage since like the beginning of March. It's been so weird. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, but yeah I think kind of just like everybody else it's kind of it's been strange and kind of adjusting to what your new routine if there is one is has been the weirdest thing but it's been okay it's it's yeah it's been fine I've had a lot of downtime to do a lot of writing and stuff so um so yeah so it's been it's been all right um, and, and saying that, so have you done some more writing? Because we'll, we'll talk about your music shortly, but um, have you found the time to be creative? Have you have you found anything positive out of it? Yeah, um, kind of as it's gone on, I've like started writing again. The first few weeks I was just like, I think it was so kind of disorientating for everybody. I just found it really uninspiring. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to write um, or, you know, but... I think as it's gone on and kind of everybody's gotten used to the idea of this is just what we're going through at the minute. Um, yeah, I've been able to write and kind of just because I've been recording most of last year and then touring, it it was kind of a nice natural time to sort of have a think about what I want to be saying next on whatever the next songs are going to be anyway. Um, so it's de- yeah, I've definitely had a lot of time to think about. For sure. Um, for sure. And there's definitely been a lot of subject matter come forward in this situation oh, that has given people a good totally. opportunity to to write about it. I mean, there's yeah. so many different emotions and, and feelings. And yeah. So, yeah, so that's been great. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what it kind of what I'm really excited, actually, just for the wider music community as well, to see what comes out in the next year, what people, you know, I kind of have been inspired by or what they've felt like they've needed to say um while this has all been going on so I think it's it's weird but it's quite an exciting time to see what's going to come out of it I agree with you I agree with you I think this has been a really positive time in in a bizarre sense and yeah I've de- definitely seen some certainly some great music come out of it and you know as I'm always saying the live streaming over the last few months has been amazing you've been streaming haven't you Laura yeah, I do one every Sunday at four thirty, um, and I do a monthly one on a Wednesday evening, um, and it's been great. I mean, it's been great for me because it means I can still be playing. I've still got something every week to aim towards that's musical, um, and I think people have been really enjoying also having something that they know they can tune into every week. Um, so, like, kind of on both the side of the artist and the people watching. I think it's kind of helped both of us out kind of it's given us a little it's given me definitely something to kind of you know yeah. put a bit of structure into the week and mean that I'm keeping playing and oh we've got you know I, I choose a new theme every week so I've got something during the week that I need to kind of be chipping away at um That's right. so yeah it's been lovely and to connect and to still be able to connect with people as well even if it's a different way and it's you know from behind a screen you've still got that you know a bit of a connection as well Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's quite personal. That's what I've been saying quite a lot recently is that actually we feel like we know you. We're in your living rooms. We're with you. We're seeing you. You know, we're not seeing you all all dressed up and on stage. It was just seeing you as you are. It's very um, it's it's, it's quite humbling. And it's it's definitely personal. I think we get to know you guys. And um, also we get to chat with you all the time. And we get that regular uh, for you guys, like you say, for the artists and for the, um, you know, the people that want to listen. You know, it's a regular gig day. It, It has become like a regular gig day yeah Yeah, which is so which has been very nice yeah keeps you going so about the music Laura so you know you've been doing this quite some time yeah yeah Yeah, it's crazy now it's um yeah it's been a while (laughs) it has I mean I've you know obviously done research on you and been looking into the music that you do I mean I know your music anyway um I played glitter the other week it was a request from Ali on on our show uh, um on our uh, station um and she absolutely adores you and she's recommended loads of your music um so you you've won the BCMAs 
so uh, twice is that right you have won yeah. several awards um you've also you you have a new ep out yes came out um literally the fact the week we went into lockdown it came out and it's called how big is your world which is quite is world. ironic <laughs> Yes, and Better in Blue Jeans has done really, really well. Every, yeah. It seems to be everyone, uh, you know, it's really resonated with lots of people. It's a beautiful song. Um, wow. but you've done loads of co-writes as well. So I was going to say to you, um, have you found this time to be able to co-write again? Yeah, actually, I've done um, quite a bit over Zoom uh, and Skype and kind of, at first I didn't really, up until, I'd never done it before lockdown. I'd never written with anybody over you know like a video chat no, and I, I didn't know it was gonna... <laughs> no, it's all very new yeah no it was so new and I kind of didn't know how a lot of kind of co-writing is about being in the room and kind of picking up on somebody's like vibe and with like it's like very I've always thought oh you need that kind of connection in the room and and you do but you can do it over I've had some great writes over um over zoom and and, and skype and stuff uh, and I think what I kind of like about it is you're not as on, even though you are in front of that other person, you're kind of in your own surroundings. So you it, you don't feel as on the spot. A lot of the time mm. with co-writing, you're like, oh, if something's not coming, you know, in the first like couple of seconds, it can be stressful to have like and especially if you don't know the person very well to be sat in a room not having anything to say even for 30 seconds it's so stressful <laughs> so if it's kind of while you're still you still got a connection with that person because it's still happening in real time it's kind of it takes the pressure off because you're in your own surroundings and you kind of you yeah it kind of it takes that pressure off a little bit so I've really it enjoyed does. it it does. It, you are in your own surroundings. So there is an element of comfort there, you know, mm. and 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 I think patience as well. It, it, it gives you that little bit yeah. more patience. Um, yeah. So so uh, you actually did a gig for Country Radio UK. It was on the 11th yes. of May last year. So it's I kind of the anniversary. I know it's blown. I can't believe that's been a year. As you performed with Holloway Road and Katie Her at the uh, stables in Milton Keynes. And I mean, you must be yeah. missing the gigs. I mean, you, uh, you know, you said you were gigging just before lockdown. So you've managed to, you know, at least get get a little bit in before before this happened. Yeah. So literally the day. So I did my um, my like run of like my UK tour. And then the week, I think a few days later. All the venues got closed down so I managed to just get in just before um I'm missing it so much um mm. like it's lovely to be able to do stream there's just nothing like playing live um it's the smell just, it's the you, atmosphere isn't it yeah and it's just sound even if you do the same set with the same band with the same everything no two gigs are ever the same you get something different every single time you go out on stage and I love that um yeah and just the buzz of it is just you can't kind of match it with anything else so I am missing it and I can't wait to to get back on the stage whenever that may be sure I mean do you have did you have any plans in place I mean obviously everything's going to be postponed you know for now but did you yeah. have any ideas of, of of something you know longer term I think everyone's kind of just taking it as it comes at the minute I know as you say a lot of stuff's been postponed C2C has been moved back to next year by which time hopefully everything will be fine um yeah it's just I think it's everyone's still just kind of having to kind of deal with it as it comes and are, and adjust kind of because it's just so like nothing any of us have had to deal with before of um course. but hopefully I'm I'm just hoping for an amazing festival season next year. Um, oh, I think we're guaranteed to have that. I yeah, think that's a dead I think set. it's going to be quite a party <laughs> by the it's, time we get to it. It's going to be weekly, I'm sure. We're going to make up yeah. for it. And so, so with the, with gigs, um, I mean, so you did a little run just before we went into lockdown. Yeah. Um, you were due to play at C2C, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so again, all these plans will be postponed and there'll be, I'm sure there'll be lots of gigs uh, to come, but that's when you were going to be promoing the new EP, I imagine, as well. Yeah. So so what have you been doing to promo, um, essentially, while we're in lockdown as well? How have you found that? Have you? I it's, mean, the reception must have been great. It's a great EP. 
Oh, thank you. Um, no, the reception was so lovely, and and it was something that you know, as we knew, we were kind of getting towards releasing it. Everything was kind of shutting down, and you know, CC was getting cancelled, and all these other things that were planned to do were getting cancelled. And I was just like, oh no, what are we gonna like? How's this gonna go? Um, but the response has been amazing. People have been. I, I do like even more so I think I've seen so many people on Twitter and Instagram and social media saying that music is really getting them through it oh, yes. um, and I know it is for me like I yes. have listened to so much stuff that I probably wouldn't have kind of listened to before because you just didn't have the time, time. to sit with all of these brand new albums and stuff so I've found music really helped me get through it and I'm so glad it's it's amazing when other people are messaging you to say that something you've written is helping them get through this time. It's like that's why that's why you do it, Laura. Oh, that's, that's, that's why you do that it. Is, that is the number one goal. Um, yeah, so that has been so lovely uh, to see. And it's actually, it's been, it's been really nice. It's been different, a way of releasing things because you can't go out and promo it. But it's been a it's been a really nice release. Everybody's been listening to it. It's hilarious that it's called How Big Is Your World? And the first line of the song is we lock our doors, close all the blinds, shut out the world, they say it's safer inside. Like, you I was like <laughs> have I predicted the future? The song was written nearly two years ago. Um, oh. But people have been really lovely about it. And, and, just, and the live streams and just people getting on board and sharing it. Sure. As, as promoted it as well as if we'd have gone out and, and played it live which has been yeah early. people and, are listening lovely. people are listening more yeah. than ever which is which is wonderful for all of you artists I think um for everybody even for radio you know across the board everyone is yeah. now really back listening to the fundamentals of the music and yeah. just you, you know not getting caught up in all the other other things that come with that and just actually yeah. taking in the music again and yeah. that's fantastic so you've been to Nashville you've written out in Nashville Nashville you've uh, yeah. done some co-writes as well tell me a little bit about that Laura um so yeah I've been I mean the first time I went out to Nashville I was 17 I turned 18 in Nashville and I was there just as a fan just because I was so obsessed with it uh, and then I've been going back over ever since and um and yeah I mean half of the new the stuff that's on the EP was written over there um half of it was written over here um but it's just it's one of those places that I'm so sad I should have been going over there over summer and I'm so sad to not be able to get over there yeah. um, because it's just one of those places, even if you're writing by yourself in Nashville, there's something about it. Well, that that's what I was so going to ask you. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you think it's different writing in a different place and especially in Nashville? Do you think that you yes. get a different level of creativity perhaps? Yeah, definitely. I think anyway, like even if you're writing at home, like a change of scenery, sometimes if I'm ever like, blocked with something I'm writing at home just moving room or like going somewhere else like it just helps so much to change the scenery and especially in Nashville there's just I don't know I've talked to other writers about it and no one can really put the finger on what it is about that makes the songs just seem to just flow out of you there every right. session that I've been in has probably been about three four hours long and you've got the song really um, there's so just, it, yeah, it there's heightens the creativity. Here. It seems to it heighten really the creativity does. and give you that inspiration. Yeah, I think maybe just because you're around so many like-minded people, everybody yeah. that loves music you love, people that love to write. Um, I think it's just, yeah, you're just around your people. And um, and I think it's just so inspiring. Absolutely. And, and I mean, talking about inspire, inspiration. So, you know, you come from Liverpool. Um, how does I'm sure you've been asked loads of times about what inspires you. But, you know, it's that changes that evolves over time as well. So you have yeah. kind of like, um, you know, the basis of what we all grew up with and what we what, what what's uh, nostalgic to us. But but what, yeah. what sort of what what do you take inspiration from now? Really? Um, you know, does it have an impact? Does it does it connect with your upbringing as well? Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of um, that's what why I think UK country music has grown. It's been said before, but I think the thing that connected with UK country when it really started growing was 
you know, we were starting to talk and sing about the stuff that mattered to us and the stuff that connected to us, um, which is what country is for, is it's to bring people together and, you know, to share, like, similar experiences through music and stuff. And definitely a lot of what I write, I, th- I don't really think it's changed. I, I started writing when I was a teenager just because I was really shy, really quiet. Okay. And I was just writing down the stuff that I wouldn't say to people in real life. It was just an outlet, really, to mm. clear my mind out as a teenager and just, yeah, write down the stuff that, you know, I was thinking about what we wouldn't really say to people. And the kind of the basis of that hasn't really changed. That's still why I write now. Like, I can, I think it's easier to just format how you work out your feelings and how you feel about something by writing it into a song rather than talk about it and and that's the same for you know if I you know for listening to music like I have worked out how I feel about so many different things by listening to other people's music um and I think for as a writer that's where it comes from with me it's kind of just it is so many people say but it's so true it is just therapy you are kind of just working out how you feel about stuff through writing a song yes and and also the reason that we connect with with you is because we listen and go yeah I get it yeah that's exactly how I feel and that honestly when people when people Mm -hmm. um say at the end of a gig or they've you know they've been listening to me stuff and they message me and say um oh this song that you wrote you know that reminds me of of my mum and dad or I've been through that that is just the best feeling in the whole world not even as a writer just as a person that somebody else kind of has gone through what you're going through um yeah it's just, absolutely. it's the best absolutely and I mean you know you've gigged with quite a few other artists as well um have you been writing with other other UK artists at all yeah we have over um over lockdown I've done I did some great writes with Jade Halliwell when when lockdown kind of first started that was great um me and Twinny have been writing again over Zoom, which has been lovely. Um, yeah, and then kind of, I really want to set some more up though. Like, it's funny how now everyone's gotten used to lockdown. I'm like, I've got nothing to do, but I have no time in the day. I get to, I know. I get to like We're... seven o'clock at night and I'm like, what has happened? Where did the day go? What have I done all um, day? Why am I so busy? How am I so yeah. busy? It's really bizarre. It just goes to it show is... how resilient we are and how we just re- <laughs> yeah. we start life back up again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you have it's had crazy. the chance. So, yeah, to... I've been writing with yeah with with other UK artists and that, and hopefully set some more up as well. Fantastic. So um we so we have the new EP. We hopefully yeah. we'll be able to see you um, live. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would be wonderful. Um, but you know, really, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's been lovely to, to to chat with you, and you're doing really, really well. And I'm so glad that the EP is doing well too. And we certainly look oh, forward to hearing you. hearing more music from you as well, Laura. And looking forward thank to seeing you so the gigs. Thank, thank you, you too. So thank you for talking Take today, care. Laura. It's been great. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, it's Jess T on countryradio.uk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and know that there will be plenty more music videos, live exclusives and performances from country music artists across the UK and beyond.